Hey, TikTok and YouTube, what's up? So, we're going to be talking about women, okay? I think we got valid grievances to be talking about misandry and gynocracy. And what I'm going to do is talk about how, how, you know, real talk. Because, you know, the whole thing, you say not to talk about women to you pro-black simps and you, and you males who just think it's not masculine to have valid grievances. But y'all complain about when dudes commit suicide. Y'all Actually, y'all don't care. See, men don't care about men, especially in the black community. And let me tell you, sisters, this. Let me tell you, male data women, this. If men don't care about each other, if men don't put each other first, you ain't going no damn where. Okay? If men are not able to, I mean, it's debatable, but my thing, when we have a, you know, we should have a space. I'm indifferent. We need to, but my thing is, we need to, we just talking about surface shit, but we don't get to the root of the problem and actually... Fix our minds, fix our emotions, and fix our physicality. Because, you know, your mental health matters. Okay? Many of us men do got valid grievances. I'm talking about the good dudes. Even you, particularly the good dudes. Now, you guys who be pandering to women and you get kicked out the house or she don't want to, she want to drop you like a bad habit. Now, all of a sudden, you want to be all red pill and talk about how, now, now, you need to sit down somewhere. Because when we were trying to tell you guys this, y'all, y'all, you, you was enabling this fuckery. Now it comes back to come back to bite you in the butt. Now all of a sudden you want to talk about how these bitch talk about bitch this bitch that. Nah, let's go sit down somewhere, you know, and learn about real manhood. Okay, this is what I. That's why Derek. It don't pay to be Derek Jackson. Okay. What you're going to see um, is a clip. And I want to show you. So the grievances are there. And I think men need to have, a, if you have to cry for 20 years or just this and that, as long as you're being progressive or heal, there's no time frame. Healing don't, time don't heal wounds. You got to really just put, do a lot of fixing and addressing and, and, and an attack the, 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 root of, the root of the problem. And I think men telling them just to just not say nothing, you know, this is how, and I'm so sick of the, this, this misogynistic attitude. Oh, that's just how women are. No. That just tells you you don't understand womanhood and all that stuff and, and manhood. Stop saying everything that is female, that's disrespectful and toxic. And the female degeneracy and gynocracy is just that. No, that's not how they are. For the last 50 years, there's no natural order. For the last since, since the feminism, the rise of feminism... Starting from the 1900s to 1920s, and how feminism actually exploded with the civil rights movement, because you had a bunch of race trader, coon, Negro bed wrench heifers that wanted to side with the white bitches, thinking that that that's gonna that that they had the same thing. When actually a lot of males, you know, white males are funny. These cave males are the biggest simp's. They give women power. Now they're crying about it. All because they didn't want black men to have certain things. That's why they created this double minority bullshit when men are actually the majority. Actually, there's more men in the world than women, unfortunately. We have, we can go into the reasons why, but I'm not going to discuss that. You know, in America, there, there are more women in the Western world. But it's neither here or there. These women chase a small percentage of the men. So when we talk about, I'm talking about policy, I'm talking about environment, laws, and the misandry, that's problematic. So we do need to start having our testimonies and speaking on it. So when I complain about it, or when I speak about it or address it, even have, and I do have a whole bunch of shitload of solutions, y'all don't want to hear it because it doesn't, it doesn't, because that requires work and change on both parties, all parties involved. Because we're going to be living together. It ain't like women are going to go to an island by themselves and, and start running things. That's not going to happen. Men can probably do, can probably go to an island do, but, you know, a lot of you dudes will be creeping, looking for, just like the women are going to start creeping and looking, you know, to be back in 
good your good graces. So there's just too much fuckery going on. So I'm gonna play the clip. Over a spot in line. <laughs> You see how a lot of these women, a lot of melanated women don't respect each other? Do you see how disrespectful and violent they are willing to be towards each other? We already know they're violent towards men and we try to act like they're sweet, dainty, loving, and they're so they're such a weaker vessel, which is it's a bunch of bullshit. Do you know the biggest warriors were women? The biggest hunters were, were women? This type of sympathy needs to stop. We, I don't know why we like to romanticize that women are just these sweet, loving angels. They've never been that way. Just like men being demonized as demonic and evil and wicked, last time I checked, women give birth, right? Men are the producers of life and actually we are the carriers of life, not women. Women are the first teachers of okay. children and the influence just, if it of culture. Seat, you don't have, you just, you, it, it would just, if you don't, a woman, basically, her womb is useless without no sperm. Her eggs and womb is ineffective as fuck. Okay? And without all the advancement technology so these women can have children, I, they, it, 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 it's just like they're just doing what they're designed to do. They want praise for what women have been doing for thousands of years. But men don't get no praise for for what we have been doing for thousands of years. Even with the progression, you know, there's some regression of the world and the way it is. But these women take it for granted. Women, women mainly... Sometimes children, but women mainly take it for granted. this too it's funny how these women want to cry victimhood talk about their victims of dv you see how they are you see how you got these hyenas that look for conflict conflicts 
And y'all say it's avoidable. How the hell is it avoidable? Unless I move to the de- unless I become a pa- unless I become an official passport bro and get my passport and leave out the gynocracy, the this racist, gynocratic society, anti-black misandry society. You, you, it's really unavoidable. And y'all can say, well, you know, if you don't sleep with these women and have relationships, okay, that's okay. But you don't have to do that. You still, you're, you're still encountering these happens to be mean monk and random people, random dudes, and just want to pick fights with women who may. And I think that chick that was yelling, and, I don't know what, 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 what led on to that. But you see the one, you see how masculine, toxic, masculine these heifers are, and they're talking about they need protection. You can't, like, 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 first of all, learn how to be feminine. Oh, I'm so oppressed. Oh, white supremacy. It's, white supremacy ain't making you act like that. You choosing to be a goddamn coon. You being a proudest hoe is, is the reason why you are. You choose to be aggressive. You choose to be, you're not, and even when it comes to women being masculine, these women ain't trying to build no houses, no roads. They're not trying to invent nothing. Ain't, how many female inventors are there? That invented something that would benefit mankind and benefit men, women, and children. Everything's just about them. You could say, yeah, the simps need, to, yeah, these males who are simps need to take accountability. But even when you hold simps accountable, these males, don't, they act just like these hoes. They act just like them. Then you got women who want to protect your simp. Because you can't, see, this is the thing. Don't you talk about him. He, he, he has the right to be a simp. He's defending. He ain't defending you from what? But when I defend women who are ladies and fit, fit, and cooperative, and they support men and they are traditional conservative, all of a sudden I'm I'm an abuser. You see how retarded these black, these modern black bitches are. You see how retarded they are. They want you to protect toxic. Masculine, no feminine energy, unnurturing, narcissistic, beta female heifers. They want you to protect these thoughts, these free old fours, these lazy, degenerate, want to hand out heifers who are ha- who got a lot of self hate issues. You see how masculine, you see how gr- toxic, masculine, pooky, thuggish she is. There's a you, and you wonder why she, these children are the way they are. Ain't no man can lead anything to that. She she don't want to be led. She want to be led by the government, the gynocratic government, the white supremacist gynocratic go- government. That's why she votes Democratic. I'm not saying revoke conservative. I'm just saying I'm just saying this fact. Until you have something for men, you can't even. You, and, and here it says here says to have us like Michi X and them. Um, we can't hold these women accountable because y'all use y'all call nine one one because this bitch this bitch I'm gonna, which I'm going to discuss in a different live stream. Every time a man asserts his authority, you want to call the police or you want to kick him out the house that he's paying for. Now, if you don't have, like I said before, but we got women who are taking men's resources and, and divorcing them because they don't want to submit to a man out of selfish reasons. They don't want to, they'll submit to the government and the institutions of white, white zaddy and, and, and his mama. You can't make this stuff up. So we're, we're less of men for calling, for not addressing this problem, not pointing it out, women shaking their ass on tables, getting violent towards each other, jumping at women who are just feminine, and who just look fine and pretty, beautiful, who are ladylike, who actually are about family, don't, who are against abortion, or, you know, who don't believe in, who believe in the nuclear family, traditionalism, Af- from, a, from rooted in black pride, especially rooted in black pride. Oh, it's a problem. But we can't talk about you. But so we can just we should never say nothing. Okay, so when stuff happens, I don't want to hear nothing about protect black women because you can never nation build with heifers like this.